Today, we're exploring a unique and often overlooked aspect of naval engineering. Why are aircraft carriers painted gray while submarines are painted black? The reasons behind these color choices are rooted in both science and strategy. Let's dive in and uncover the fascinating details. Number one, the science behind gray aircraft carriers. Aircraft carriers are painted gray for a multitude of scientific and strategic reasons, all contributing to their operational efficacy and survivability in complex naval environments. The choice of gray paint involves an understanding of light physics, visual perception, and environmental conditions, making it a crucial element of naval warfare. One of the primary scientific reasons for using gray paint on aircraft carriers is its ability to minimize light reflection and absorption. At sea, ships are exposed to various lighting conditions, from bright sunlight to the diffuse light of overcast skies. Gray paint helps to strike a balance by reflecting and absorbing just the right amount of light, thereby reducing glare and making the vessel less conspicuous. This effect is particularly useful during the so-called golden hours of dawn and dusk, when the contrast between sea and sky can make objects stand out more. The gray color reduces the chances of an aircraft carrier being visually identified by enemy forces, especially from a distance. Additionally, gray paint plays a significant role in optical camouflage. This form of camouflage is essential for blending the aircraft carrier into its surroundings, primarily the horizon and the varying shades of the ocean and sky. At sea, the horizon often appears as a gradient of blue and gray tones, making gray-painted ships harder to distinguish. This blending effect is crucial for evading visual detection by enemy reconnaissance aircraft, ships, and even satellites equipped with high-resolution cameras. Unlike brighter or darker colors, which can create sharp contrasts against the natural backdrop, gray provides a muted presence that seamlessly integrates with the maritime environment. Beyond visual camouflage, the gray color on aircraft carriers also contributes to managing radar and infrared signatures. Although the primary aim of gray paint is to reduce visual detection, it also aids in diffusing radar waves. Radar systems detect objects by bouncing radio waves off them and interpreting the returned signals. A gray surface with its slightly reflective yet matte finish can scatter these radar waves more effectively than a highly reflective surface, thereby reducing the radar cross-section of the vessel. This scattering effect makes it more challenging for enemy radar systems to get a clear lock on the ship, enhancing its stealth capabilities. In terms of thermal management, gray paint is advantageous because it absorbs less heat than darker colors like black. This property is particularly beneficial for maintaining the operational efficiency of the aircraft carrier. High temperatures on the deck can affect both the crew's performance and the operational readiness of aircraft and other equipment. By using gray paint, the ship's surface remains relatively cooler, ensuring that the heat-sensitive equipment functions optimally and the crew remains comfortable. Moreover, the choice of gray is influenced by the need for durability and ease of maintenance. Gray paint, being less prone to showing dirt, salt, and wear, helps in maintaining the aircraft carrier's appearance over extended deployments. Naval vessels often operate in harsh marine environments where they are subjected to salt water, harsh sunlight, and varying weather conditions. Gray paint, therefore, offers a practical solution by being easier to clean and maintain compared to lighter or more vibrant colors, which might require more frequent upkeep. Another interesting aspect is the historical evolution of naval camouflage. During World War I, navies experimented with dazzle camouflage, which involved complex patterns designed to confuse enemy rangefinders and make it difficult to determine a ship's speed and direction. However, with the advent of radar technology in World War II, such visual deception techniques became less effective. The uniform gray color became the standard as it offered a balance between camouflage, ease of maintenance, and operational practicality. Number two, the stealth of black submarines. Submarines are painted black to maximize their stealth capabilities, a crucial aspect of their design that enables them to conduct covert operations and evade detection. The choice of black paint is influenced by several scientific and strategic factors, which collectively enhance the submarine's ability to remain undetected in various operational environments. The primary reason for painting submarines black is to reduce their visibility while they are near the surface. 
Black absorbs most of the light rather than reflecting it, making the submarine less visible against the dark background of the ocean, especially at night or in low light conditions. This is essential for avoiding visual detection by enemy ships, aircraft, or satellites equipped with high-resolution cameras. The dark color helps the submarine blend into the deep, shadowy areas of the sea, creating a significant advantage in stealth operations. Another critical factor is the role of black paint in managing the submarine's infrared IR signature. Submarines generate heat which can be detected by infrared sensors. Black paint, especially when combined with heat-absorbing materials, helps in dissipating heat more effectively. This reduces the submarine's infrared signature, making it harder for enemy sensors to detect the heat emissions. By lowering their thermal visibility, submarines can better evade infrared detection systems that might be used by adversaries to locate and track them. Submarines are equipped with anechoic tiles, which are rubber or synthetic polymer tiles containing thousands of tiny voids. These tiles are painted black and serve two primary purposes, absorbing sound waves from active sonar and attenuating sounds emitted by the submarine itself. The black color of these tiles is not merely for visual camouflage, but also plays a role in their acoustic properties. The tiles' sound-absorbing characteristics reduce the effectiveness of sonar systems used by enemy vessels to detect submarines, thus enhancing their stealth capabilities. The anechoic tiles help to distort the return signal of active sonar, making it difficult for enemies to determine the exact location and movement of the submarine. Furthermore, the black color is advantageous for submarines operating in deep-sea environments. The deeper parts of the ocean are characterized by low light levels, where the black color helps the submarine to blend in with the surroundings, reducing the chances of being spotted. In these conditions, even a slight color deviation can make a submarine stand out. The consistent use of black ensures that submarines remain inconspicuous in the vast dark depths of the ocean. During the day, submarines might operate at periscope depth or even surface for brief periods. The black paint is crucial in these situations as it minimizes the chances of being spotted by enemy observers or aircraft. Submarines are most vulnerable when they surface, and the dark color provides an additional layer of concealment, reducing the risk of detection during these critical moments. The strategic use of black paint extends to other functional benefits as well. Black paint helps in preventing the growth of marine organisms on the hull, which can increase drag and reduce the submarine's operational efficiency. The smooth black surface is less conducive to the attachment of barnacles and algae, maintaining the submarine's hydrodynamic efficiency and reducing the need for frequent maintenance. Number three, technological and environmental factors. The technological and environmental factors influencing the color choices for naval vessels are crucial for their operational efficiency and stealth capabilities. Submarines in particular benefit significantly from these considerations. The use of black paint on submarines is primarily driven by the need for stealth. Black paint absorbs light, reducing visibility when the submarine is near the surface, especially in low light conditions such as night or deep waters. This color choice helps submarines blend into the dark background of the ocean, making them harder to detect visually. One of the key technological factors is the reduction of the submarine's radar cross-section, RCS. Submarines are designed to be as undetectable as possible, and the black paint combined with anechoic tiles helps achieve this. Anechoic tiles are rubber or synthetic polymer tiles with tiny air pockets that absorb sonar waves. These tiles reduce the submarine's acoustic signature by absorbing sound waves from active sonar and dampening the noise emitted by the submarine itself. This technology is critical in evading detection by enemy sonar systems, ensuring that the submarine can operate stealthily. Infrared IR Signature management is another important technological consideration. Submarines generate heat from their engines and onboard systems, which can be detected by infrared sensors. Black paint helps dissipate this heat more effectively than lighter colors, reducing the infrared signature and making it more difficult for enemy sensors to detect the submarine. This thermal management is essential for maintaining stealth, particularly in environments where adversaries might use thermal imaging technology. 
Environmental factors also play a significant role in the color choice. In the deep ocean where light penetration is minimal, black is the optimal color for blending in with the surroundings. The deeper a submarine goes, the less light there is, making black the best choice for minimizing visibility. This environmental adaptation is crucial for submarines operating at various depths, ensuring they remain inconspicuous in both shallow coastal waters and the deep sea. Marine growth and biofueling prevention are practical considerations for submarine maintenance. Black paint often includes anti-fouling properties that prevent the growth of marine organisms like barnacles and algae on the hull. These organisms can increase drag, reduce fuel efficiency, and impair the submarine's performance. The smooth black painted surface helps maintain hydrodynamic efficiency, allowing the submarine to move silently and efficiently through the water. This aspect of maintenance ensures that submarines can remain operational for extended periods without frequent cleaning or maintenance. The choice of black paint also aids in operational flexibility. Submarines need to operate in various environments from clear coastal waters to the open ocean. While some submarines may be painted in lighter shades like gray or blue to blend with coastal environments, black remains the predominant color for deep sea operations. This adaptability in paint colors reflects the strategic planning involved in naval vessel design, ensuring that submarines can perform effectively in different operational theaters. Hydrodynamic efficiency is another crucial factor. A clean, smooth hull reduces water resistance, which is vital for maintaining speed and maneuverability. The black paint, combined with advanced hull coatings, ensures that the submarine minimizes acoustic signatures while maximizing operational efficiency. This is particularly important during stealth missions, where noise reduction and fuel efficiency are critical.